study of living organisms present in different water samples. To conduct this experiment, you will need a compound microscope, wide mouth reagent bottles, methylene blue stain, spirit lamp, inoculation loop, glass slides, dropper, labels, and permanent marker. Water is free from particles in its pure state. Substances that degrade the quality of water are called pollutants. The presence of a large amount of pollutants causes water to become unfit for use and it is said to be polluted. Biological substances that cause water pollution are primarily living organisms. Living organisms present in water are either microorganisms or macroorganisms. Microorganisms present in water that can cause a range of diseases are called pathogens. The type and number of pathogens present indicate the type of pollutants and the level of pollution present. Microorganisms usually present in water bodies include bacteria, cyanobacteria, microscopic algae and protists. Before we begin the experiment, we must collect hooked water samples from various water bodies and sources. Visit various water bodies such as a pond, a lake, a river, etc. To collect the water sample, take a sterilized reagent bottle and hold it over the surface of the water with the mouth of the reagent bottle facing downwards. Subverge the reagent bottle into the water until it is completely immersed. Tilt the mouth of the reagent bottle upwards and allow the water to flow into the reagent bottle until it is completely full. Close the mouth of the reagent bottle with the cap and ensure that it is secure. Label the reagent bottle clearly with the sample it contains. Similarly, collect water samples from other water bodies. These water samples can now be used to study the presence of living organisms in the water bodies. Transport the water samples to a laboratory to proceed with the experiment. Sterilize the inoculation loop by holding it over the flame of a spirit lamp till the loop is red hot. Allow the inoculation loop to cool down. The inoculation loop is now sterile. Using the sterile inoculation loop, transfer two to three loopfuls of the first water sample onto a clean glass slide. With the help of the loop, spread the water sample on the glass slide to make a thin smear. Allow the smear to dry. Pass the lower side of the glass slide over the flame of the spirit lamp two to three times to fix the organisms present in the smear to the glass slide. Add one to two drops of methylene blue onto the smear and leave it for two minutes. Wash off the excess stain using water. Allow the smear to dry. Observe the slide under a microscope under 10x objective lens, 40x objective lens and 100x objective lens. Similarly, prepare smears of the remaining water samples and observe under the microscope. Observation of the smear under 40x objective lens showed blue colored organisms with varied structures. Observation of the smear under 100x objective lens showed numerous blue colored spherical, rod shaped, comma shaped and helically coiled microorganisms. Similar organisms were observed in the smears of lake and river water samples. No organisms were found to be present in the smear of the tap water and tube well water sample. 
when observed under 10x and 40x objective lens. But observation under 100x objective lens showed the presence of blue colored spherical and rod shaped microorganisms. Observation of the smears under 40x observation lens showed the presence of numerous cyanobacteria and diatoms. The cyanobacteria identified as Nostoc, Gliotrichia, and Oscillatoria. The diatoms identified are Pleurosigma, Navicula, Asterionella, and Triceratium. Algae like Spirogyra are also found to be present. Observation of the smears under 100x observation lens showed the presence of small spherical, rod shaped, comma shaped, and helically coiled bacteria. The spherical bacteria are known as cocci, rod shaped bacteria as bacilli, comma shaped bacteria as vibrio, and helically coiled bacteria as pyrolum. The presence of a large number of organisms indicates increased amounts of organic pollutants in the water bodies. Absence of a large number of macroorganisms in the tap and tube well water samples indicates that these water sources are not polluted to a great extent.